The Israeli military on Monday released a video purporting to show soldiers inside a hospital in Gaza, with weapons seen on the ground. The AP cannot verify the content, date, locations or conditions under which the video was shot. The Israeli army said it had conducted a precise operation against a Hamas stronghold embedded inside the Kamal Adwan hospital in the Gaza Strip while preventing the harm of civilians. In a press release, the military said it apprehended approximately 100 terrorists from the compound, including terrorists who attempted to escape during the evacuation of civilians. Inside the hospital, they found weapons, terror funds, and intelligence documents. They said that, before beginning scans in the compound, the soldiers enabled civilians to leave the hospital and that 88 patients, caregivers, and staff were relocated from Kamal Adwan Hospital to active hospitals in the Gaza Strip. The war began when Hamas-led militants stormed into southern Israel on October 7, 2023. They killed around 1,200 people, mostly civilians, and abducted around 250. Some 100 hostages remain in Gaza, around a third of whom are thought to be dead. Israel's retaliatory offensive has killed more than 42,000 Palestinians, according to Gaza's health ministry. It does not distinguish between civilians and combatants but says more than half of those killed were women and children. Israel says it has killed over 17,000 militants, without providing evidence. The offensive has devastated much of Gaza and displaced around 90% of its population of 2.3 million, often multiple times. Israeli military video released on Sunday claims to show soldiers raiding bunkers and finding stockpiled weapons in southern Lebanon. In a statement, the Israeli military said that its troops continue conducting limited, localized, targeted ground raids based on precise intelligence in southern Lebanon. They said that they eliminated dozens of terrorists, raided terrorist infrastructure above and below ground, and located numerous munitions and weapons. Israel has intensified bombardment of Lebanon since September 23, vowing to cripple Hezbollah, which began firing into northern Israel after Hamas' October 7 attack triggered the war in Gaza. Israel says it is targeting Hezbollah members and infrastructure and says the group places military assets in civilian areas. Some 2,000 people have been killed, including Hezbollah fighters and commanders, but also hundreds of civilians, often in strikes on homes. The exchange of fire has raised fears of an all-out regional war pitting Israel and the United States against Iran and its militant proxies, which include Hamas and the Hezbollah militant group in Lebanon, where Israel launched a ground invasion earlier this month after nearly a year of lower-level conflict. בתוך הסבך, ממש בתוך היער. נמצא המתחם הזה. נכון, נמצא מצבור אמלך מאוד גדול. בנוי מבוטן. Israel's attack paralyzed the production of ballistic missiles in Iran. The American portal Axios wrote about it. Israel's retaliatory strike against Iran disabled a critical component of Iran's ballistic missile development program, said the article with reference to three sources from Israel. 
It also says that Israel hit 12 planetary mixers that were used to produce solid rocket fuel for long-range ballistic missiles. According to the interlocutors of the portal, the affected objects are extremely complex equipment, which Iran does not produce, but orders abroad. The representative of the United States confirmed that the strike significantly weakened the missile potential of Iran. Restoration of production capacity may take no less than a year, since Iran is forced to buy such equipment in China, since it does not produce it on its own. In addition, limiting Iran's ability to produce new ballistic missiles will affect its support for allies such as Hezbollah and the Houthis. Israeli sources also reported that the attack hit four batteries of S-300 air defense systems that protected Tehran and its nuclear and energy facilities. The Iranian army in its statement confirmed that the attack took place from the airspace of Iraq and damaged several radar systems, but did not mention the loss of facilities engaged in the production of missiles or drones, emphasizing its right to respond. Israeli sources confirmed that the strikes were carried out from the airspace of Syria and Iraq, some of them near the border between Iraq and Iran. U.S. President Joe Biden noted that Israel's strikes were aimed only at military targets, and expressed the hope that this would put an end to the exchange of attacks between Israel and Iran. He also called to do everything possible to protect American troops and help Israel in case of possible retaliatory actions by Iran or its allies. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister of Qatar called on all parties to refrain from further escalation. The day before it became known that Israel struck Iran. Before that, the Iranian authorities, preparing for the expected counterattack from Israel, ordered the armed forces of the country to be ready for war. The military was instructed to develop several plans to respond to the Israeli attack.